uh, Bortle here at the 33 YCS Las Vegas event. My goodness, yes, the hugest one in history. Over 500 teams. Ridiculous. With, whoa, who do we have here, guys? Chancellor. Jared, over Hello. there. And I'm Tyler. Uh, what's uh, the team name? Team Zero Mortal Plan. <laughs> you gotta say it a little bit more too. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. Team Zero Mortals Plan. There you go. How dare I? There you go, there you go. Yeah. So, uh, so top A, what did you use, man? I was playing Rescue Ace. Rescue Ace? Yeah. Nice, in a format full of uh, snake eyes and, and fire keys. Yeah. Days. I'm trying to extinguish that fire. Hey, what made you decide to use this deck for the event? So I actually thought that, so for one, I wasn't practicing the Snake Eyes Mirror since November like everybody else was doing. So I wasn't that confident into facing mostly mirrors that I knew there would be. But setting four is just so good because yeah. a lot of people cut mass background removal. A lot of people might try to interact with you and there's so many layers in this deck that you're gonna set four through whatever. Um, and post side, I'm not, confident that they're going to sign in things like lightning storm evenly anymore because flam birch putting back a hand trap exists yeah so it was a really good pick i think overall i only had me personally two matches uh two match losses um that was it the rest of the day i was cooking oh good it's yeah, a I team think it's also just one of the better grind decks moving forward and it can just go like mid-range you're still able to play like all those hand traps yeah so have like some fire plays you can play as well so it's like probably one of the better mid-range decks too mm -hmm. okay. i think every time you set four you won yeah, yeah wow much. setting four is crazy all right well before we see the top eight goo any shout outs yeah uh shout out to my team obviously one two three and our fourth member right here that's our boy darren yeah, um unfortunately he passed away uh, a very good friend of ours yeah yeah so uh this was for him. We did it for him. We love him. It was to honor him. Yeah, he was looking out for us all weekend, for yeah. sure. And um, yeah, shout out to all my friends and family texting me how happy they were to see me like in between rounds. Like that support really kept me going. And uh, that motivation was just awesome. Sweet. Without further ado, please show us the top eight Risk Race Goo. Gotcha. Goo, so for engine, three hydrant, two turbulence, two preventer, and just the one lifter. Uh, I think this is all that you really need to play. I want to focus on cards that start or extend and things like Impulse and Fire Engine. Just give me more bricks, cards that play in the talents or cards that could have been hand traps if they were in my hand. I still think three is pretty necessary though. And then spells that supplement, uh, Rota, one for one. Uh, these cards are crazy. More layers, just starting your turn with one for one. I don't even care if they add shell, just summon witch. Uh, spells, all the rescue ace cards. Uh, three emergency, one alert, one rescue, one extinguish contain. Typically, I am using this on my first turn to get to turbulence because I will either original or summon hydro from the deck, add lifter, add alert. Alert adds turbulence so that you can set all these four. And then you'll have a banished lifter all the time if you do that line. So in your emergency, you just send preventer from the deck summon the lifter back and you add field spell to really secure the game. Okay. Uh, this is a 43 card main deck, by the way, because, uh, you know, some of these cards aren't really the best to draw, i.e. Uh, yeah. Sometimes it comes up if you get hand trapped to death, just ending on a Hydra and a contain is good enough not to die. Um, guess non-engine, three nib, three ash, three valor, three imperm, two tactics. So I didn't want to play any board breakers. I want to try to hand trap my opponent to death and then start my plays off by just adding so much advantage and trying to crack through boards with the layers. I think these are the best ones though. Imperm and Valor really shine the most. Uh, they can just stop a turn if they lead with Ash. I was playing some Snake Eyes cards of my own, just through Bonfire and the one pop. Uh, this is still full combo. Uh, as long as you don't run into Droll, you just Add original. They don't have it. Summon Hydra. Mm -hmm. They they never had it. <laughs> they never had it. Oh, it was nice. crazy. And I think another thing about the Rescue Ace deck is post side they might side out the draw because they expect it to not be as good. Mm -hmm. Because typically, if you begin with this combo, if you just add uh, turbulence or you have emergency, you can play it safe through draw. So usually never see it post side. And then the rest of the engine maxed out on this. I need ways to play. Um, another reason why I'm asking on this is because I'm just trying to see good one card starters. You can lead the turn with wanted, bait with witch, they're probably going to imperm it, 
Then you can normal summon lifter, normal summon hydrant. Uh, if you have any way like preventer at hand uh, or turbulence raw or emergency raw or any of your spells raw, you can play through a decent amount of hand traps. Right. Uh, extra deck, one link Karibo, two SP. I know a lot of builds are only playing the one, but two is essential in this deck in particular because the way that you play around Imperm is when you do that Hydrant, Lifter, Alert play, you link those two off in an SP and then you summon the Turbulence. So that is going to be four summons altogether, so they can't nib you. They have to Imperm you on summon uh, of the Turbulence. And if they Imperm on Effect Activation, you just chain SP. Yeah. But if they Imperm on summon, you just make princess you bring back the turbulence Ooh. and then at that point if they have nib if you have any way to get preventer in hand you can link off the nib token and preventer after you banish the turbulence set for anyway i did that a couple times this weekend very nice charmers another link twos these cards are so broken i went for a deco talker uh, a decent amount of times phoenix is really good sometimes i'll make this after i do the world sea combo spoiler alert just having another link uh, to point to, like with SP, World C, popping through every battle phase is insane. And another thing, they'll try to lead with battle phase to attack into SP without getting SP value. And then at the start of battle phase, you just pop everything. Um, Selene, Heat Soul, Link 3s. I don't think I, I think I summoned this card once. Um, you did it. No, yeah, I can, yeah, I it was all right. I actually got Witch back to set original, yeah. but I killed that turn anyway with this guy. Ooh. Summon him. Maybe one time this weekend, that cut that time. Um, and it was to get to over. Reprint, bro. Gotta use <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, I'm, I gotta upgrade this. But uh, this is actually to try to attack over a tower's monster. It didn't matter. He had two more of them. That deck is not fair. Yeah, it was crazy. Good. I still won that match, thank God, because I went for uh, this combo, game three. This combo is just so broken. I just learned how to do it this weekend, actually, because uh, before this, I was testing Super Poly, but just the ability to kill through anything is so good uh two more link four targets they're all right i didn't really go for these a lot but if you get hand trapped to death it's all right to end on amblo whale uh Opelousa as well all right and then for the side deck this might be kind of strange but i was only playing two of each of these hand traps um i kept these in the side because i didn't want to overcrowd my deck with too many things but i wanted to side them because this is really good against the fire king specific build of snake eyes but I expected there to be a lot more Snake Eyes. This card's pretty mid against that deck, unless they open awkward. This card's really good against that deck, but I also didn't want to max out on three of them because the most important thing going into those matchups is having different layers of interactions, variability. The only one I want to see multiples of is like Imperm or Effect Veiler. Uh, one Pank. I drew this a couple times to attack over SP. Um, I know this card's at two, but the reason I played the one is because uh, our boy Darren let me borrow this at YCS Virginia. I didn't get to give it back, uh, so summoned it, it and it came Darren up. Uh, yeah, it was a Darren Pang. It came up a couple times. It was definitely useful. Uh, three Bist deals. I definitely wanted to respect the Voices Voice deck. I think that still I was going to run into some, and I think I played like one or two during Swiss, and uh, I drew Magnum Hunt, and it was it was pretty broken. Um, no, also, it was I decided to summon limit too. It was yeah. You want to be able to summon as much as possible on right. their turn, and then so you can make SP, yeah something yeah. like that. Um, I saw this for the the Raid Raptor matchup as well. Uh, shout out to Jake over there. He was telling me some of the lines uh, to protect through triple towers. Um, and I had Magnumut, and when they target for the quick play spell, you're supposed to banish the four um, because they don't have a nine target, so it'll fizzle. I didn't know that at the time, or I forgot. I just summoned a rank eight. I killed him anyway, and the other time I drew it, he like activated the other towers. That says I can't activate this anyway. So, I mean, I would still play him. I think those cards are really good. Uh, triple cosmic, obviously. Uh, double strike. I always sign this card going first into most of my matchups. I think this card is really good. Again, like I mentioned, people aren't playing mass removal like lightning storm or evenly. So setting this isn't that bad because i know that siding a card that loses to those blowouts typically is good right now because people are taking them out normal summon ash into this and it's game especially with contain extinguish there's no way and then one sprint and one scatter shot oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> i brought this back off of princess one time and linked it away and for an extra five and it mattered yeah you really so, liked it. it was it was nice to tutor yeah uh, that was nice part. yeah nice, nice. Was good. yeah so there yeah. it is
Hey, uh, again, congrats on top eight guys. And Thank uh, you. make sure to check out their profiles up on the channel up here, guys. God, yes. And uh, Bordeaux.